you've lost all, you've lost me already before you've even started. Mm -hmm. So, and that's a difficult discussion to have, right? Mm -hmm. So here's the disclaimer: this is just my opinion. Right. Please do what works for you. I said that um, in your video. Notes. I actually prepared a little bit. So, wow, that's cool. Um, real quick, so we're going to talk about music today, right? The implementation of music um, uh, into into choreography, into into a kite flight. A subject very, very close to my heart, as I think that music and a musical routine is the bridge between an audience and what we're doing on the field. I want a strong beginning. I want a to the ability to tell a story, and we'll get into the details of, of that later. Um, and I want an ending on that thing. I don't want to be hey, that one, that one, done. Find the why. It makes everything understandable, relatable, and then comes with the music. If everything comes together. Music um, leads the flying, and then other music, the flying needs to lead the music. So the flying has to be so interesting that it makes the audience who isn't into that music see the music, as it were. So you're, you're describing what you're illustrating the music yes. for oh, people. Fully so on board with that. I used to fly sport kites in my early days, but I still watch and I'm interested very much to see what people are doing, whether it's a team or whether it's individual flyers. I would have a tendency to look at, you know, sport kite flying and attaching a piece of music to it exactly, exactly the same way. You watch an old routine from Scott Ardenborough or something, and, and there are no tricks, and there's not even, you know, but no, they never, they weren't, back in the day, they weren't even landing. Yeah. But, but you watch those routines and like top of the line, and, and you're, in, you're in tears. It's, yeah. it's about the emotion. Exactly. I want to see your music in the air. Yes. And you watch guys go out throwing tricks, where's the music? Yes. When we started flying team, I didn't know what a beat or a bar was in the music, I, and I had to be taught that. All self-taught, essentially, sure. and watched the great teams of the world and watched the great flyers of the world, and just this is how they do it. Oh, the, of course, that's how you do it. It's so obvious. <laughs> and then you take it and, and and you rinse it through yourself and you make it your own. So I, I think that's what it is. So I I love that. Just quick practical questions. I have one. I, do, I have one question. How about length? Okay. You length had something immediately. Track. Uh, track. Oh, track. Track. Oh, track. Yeah. Yes, yes, track. track. Uh, so yeah, uh, length of music music so selected. So that's, that's a good question mm -hmm. too, right? I don't want to bore them to death, but at the same time I want to show everything I've got. I have found that typically less is more. When I'm choosing music, ideally it doesn't have to always be this way, but I really like a story arc, right? Where it's kind of some start out slow, come up, and then have a finale, right? Really short pieces of music don't have time to do that, right? So you've got to have enough to have a cohesive story, right? Um, but then also there's thinking about what you're trying to do. I hate to be overpowered, it's so uncomfortable. But I can at least drive the kite to, through the music. I can walk forward. I can kill things. I can, I can at least work my way through a routine. If you're underpowered, it looks limp. If you're an individual, you're not a team, so you don't fill the sky automatically all the time. So you, long lines are better than short lines, often for doing a public display. 100 beats per minute, 90 to 100 beats per minute, a comfortable speed. And there's a thing about just going out and flying with your earphones and just flying for pleasure and you'll feel the kite and the music are a match. And how I would say it is sometimes that kite is the lyric, sometimes that kite is an instrument that ain't in the music and it is our responsibility to this awkward kite thing to fit into that. An old mentor of mine once said and some of you might know the name, uh, and the, the, the owner of Avia Sport Composites, Kurt Degener. But he said, in, in the heyday of sport kite flying, and somebody is very ambitious, and it's a solo flyer, and it's big and bombastic. And the risk there is you miss opportunities. The music just runs by you and flows over you like a wave. It just, it just takes you out. And he just stood there and looks like, at it, and he says, yeah. There's another ant flowing through the Golden Gate thinking that the bridge needs to be raised for him. 
<laughs> wow. Never forget that. <laughs> Don't forget that. <laughs> This is a blessing to be here with this kind of stuff. Oh my God, world champions, here we are sitting here just talking about it. We're not so stuck flying. So thank you for oozing this magic. And this is this is pretty cool. Check these guys out here. An international team coming together.